Hello everyone and welcome to Camping and Outdoor Stuff. I'm Snurt. Um, not been on for a while, what with uh, Covid and winter and Christmas, etc. So uh, we we'll start the the new year, 2022. Uh, we're off camping into uh, the Peak District, up to the High Peak, uh, at the end of January. Uh, where the last one was in November. Uh, looking forward to going, getting outside. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't go in December as... Um, my mate who goes with me got uh, COVID, unfortunately. Anyway, he's okay. So, happy new year to you all. Anyway, I thought uh, before um, opening a few boxes of videos to come that I would uh, just do a bit of a review on these high-tech boots. I bought them a year or so ago, and I've had them in a boot bag in my van, just in case my other boots got wet, etc. Um, I must say they're quite comfortable. Uh, the sort of a sway construction, supposedly waterproof, um, made by high tech. They're quite comfy, although I do find for the size eight they're a bit wide for me in the foot, across the foot. So my foot tends to shuffle around in them a little bit from side to side. Um, as you can tell by the sole, I've done a little bit of walking in them, but I've done not, not done anything really, really difficult or outrageous in them. So it's just a bit of general wear and tear. Um, they do get hot, so the feet get quite hot in them. Um, anyway, I did say at, when I started this uh, YouTube channel that I would tell you anything good or bad. Uh, you know, if something's supposed to be waterproof and it's not, I'll let you know. Uh, I'll give you all the good bits and the bad bits. So, I was showing you one shoe, because I'll now get the other one out. So, I was walking down the road, and thought, my foot feels like it's getting a bit wet. So, how disappointing was I to find out that my left-hand one, the sole has come straight off at the front, unglued. In fact, looking at it, it looks like there was hardly anything gluing it on. Along this little edge, where you can see where my thumb is, the thumb line, there's hardly any glue on there. So, Mr. High Tech, or High Tech Company, um, you're only getting like one out of ten here, because that's not very good, I'm not very impressed with that. they got wet, cold feet, and I've not worn them very much. They're hardly worn out, they've not been roughed up, I've basically done a little bit of walking, walked to the pub, worked in it, Worked in them a few times. Not done a lot of hard graft walking in those. So, I thought I'd let you know about those. I guess they weren't very expensive. And um, they always do say, you get what you pay for. So, lesson learned. Uh, make what you want of those. Other people may have a difference of opinion. The other one is perfectly alright. The, the other boot has got... A great well glued on toe. Unfortunately, the left toe of the left boot must have been one of those Friday afternoon gluing sessions. So, never mind, eh? We all live and learn. Okay, hope you enjoy that video. Uh, enjoy the walking, enjoy the videos. I'll uh, be doing lots more as 22, 2022 progresses. If you like the videos, don't forget to uh, hit like and subscribe. Alright, see you again soon.